We are your local election headquarters. Early voting for the 2022 federal and state general election is underway. Candidates right now doing everything they can to grab those voters. Including running attack ads on their opponents. WATE 6 on your side's Kristen Gallant shares reaction from both sides. We are seeing some extreme rhetoric in the mail and the TV ads and digital from our colleagues across the aisle. Several negative ads have been circulating around Knoxville from the political opponents of Tennessee House Representative Gloria Johnson and House Seat District 18 candidate Gregory Kaplan. This is different this time for me because it, it's, it's, I don't see any issues that my opponent's talking about and it's just singling out a regular person just for the sake of singling out that person in order to intimidate voters, as Gloria said, into not voting. But Knox County Republican Party Chair Daniel Herrera says data shows that voters are paying attention. Candidates are always going to talk about their, their, their positives. They're going to talk about their best features. Uh, and there might be some things they don't want to highlight, and that's where negative ads come in. Herrera adds, though, that there has to be a balance. I think a candidate should more or less try to put a positive image out, right? But if you look at the history of elections, and I'm not just talking about Tennessee, I'm talking about national uh, negative ads are pretty prevalent, and if you kind of examine it, you would kind of think that negative ads are the prominent uh, advertisements that you see on TV or social media now. Candidates with the Democratic Party just want the negative ads to stop. Be about the, pro uh, the, the process of making Knox County better. And that's, that, 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 that to me will, will lift all boats and, and things will get a lot better once we stop this nasty, harmful rhetoric. So again, I'm asking them to cut these commercials out immediately, cut these flyers out, let's run on the issue, and the best candidate will win the race. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. We also want to let you know we reached out to David Posey, the Republican candidate running for state representative for the new District 90 in Knoxville. We've not yet heard back. Early voting ends on Thursday. Election day is Tuesday, November 8th.